Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with the second half of the Ligeti project. Now, this is on Teldex. Sony started it and then gave up at some point, and then Teldex, or Warner in this case, finished it up. Now, these were all released originally on single discs, but now they've been conveniently boxed up. Here, let's do it that way so you can see it better. And it's really kind of ironic because Sony sort of gave up before all the good stuff came out. And that's, I mean, that's an exaggeration because there's wonderful stuff in that Sony box, as we discussed. I mean, you get all the chamber music, the string quartets, which are fabulous. A lot of the vocal pieces, including Lux Eterna, you know, the choral works. I, yeah, there's good stuff. And the opera, the Grand Macabre. So yeah, that's major stuff. Major, major, major stuff. I get it. But this is like all the orchestral stuff or most of the orchestral stuff and, and the concertos and other goodies. And for many people, that's what they're going to want. I mean, I love that, you know, symphonic poem thing for a hundred metronomes and the mechanical music and barrel organs and harpsichords. And it's all very, very cool. It truly is. But for a lot of listeners, I know when you think of this composer, you're going to want to hear things like atmospheres and, and, you know, some of the concerti and whatnot. So here they all are um, in a absolutely splendid, let me see, um, how many discs is a five CD set? Uh, mostly performed by, let's see, the ASCO Ensemble, the Schoenberg Ensemble under Reinbert Deleu, and the Berlin Philharmonic under Jonathan Knott. Really, really great stuff. I mean, a major, major serious composer. So let's see what we have in here. It's actually easy. I don't even have to open it because they list it all on the back, which is... I love it when they're nice to us, don't you? It's such a help. You've got a nice little booklet, and we've got we've got the things inside here. Let's wait a minute. Let me put this down. Okay. Should we look at the booklet, or should we do the other thing? Well, the booklet doesn't have a track listing. No, but it does have notes. Nice, nice notes. Okay. So the tracks are on the discs and on the back of the box. So we'll look at the back of the box. Disc one has Melodian, the Chamber Concerto, the Piano Concerto, and the Mysteries of the Macabre, arranged by Elder Howarth. So there you go. That's like, you know, based on the, uh, the opera stuff. It's related to that. So that's disc one. Disc two Oh, this is all the fun, like, orchestral music. I love this disc. Um, I, you see, I had all the individual discs, you know, so I'm, like, reminiscing as I go through this. Uh, let's see. Lontano. Atmospheres. Yeah. Apparitions. Double yeah. San Francisco Polyphony. And the Concert Romanesque. Great stuff. Fascinating. Enjoyable. Listenable. Challenging. But, you know... Absolutely marvelous, creative, inventive, fantastical. The guy was great. CD3, the cello concerto, clocks and clouds, the violin concerto, and something called Sipple, Dobol, and Nadi Gedebutajujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujuj
absolutely great. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I mean, I don't mean to be facetious about it. Well, I do because I am, but you know, but he, he really is a major voice. And it's just so good that these things are available and God knows how long they're gonna remain available. It fascinates me, I, I just have to say as an aside, that like normal pieces, normal music, like, you know, oh, I don't know, nice, romantic, attractive things on Warner, you know, disappear. Boxes of things disappear, and this doesn't. I, I don't know whether that has to do with sales. I don't know who makes these decisions. I don't know. I mean, I find it hard to believe that this is going to sell better than like, you know, Berlioz, but it, it, who knows? Maybe it does. And it's not for me to criticize. I'm not saying one music is better than the other. I just don't understand who makes decisions at major labels. Does anybody? Do we know? I don't know. This is available. That's what matters, and you can get it. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.